So have you seen those people on social media just sticking out their blue tongues and wondering what in the world is going on? This has become part of the craze of methylene blue. Methylene blue, which is typically a chemical substance that people use in labs to run chemical experiments, was used in emergency rooms to treat one or two complex conditions and people are exposed to too much different harmful compounds, has now become a useful substance and supplement that people are now using to help from everything from boost energy, to brain function, to Lyme disease, to Alzheimer's. It is something that you may or are probably gonna hear much more about, so we're gonna do some detail here. When you do hear or do start considering any type of use of methylene blue, you definitely wanna be talking with your healthcare provider, making sure they're aware of the side effects, making sure they're aware of the medical interactions because it does interact with some medications, especially antidepressants, it does interact with a couple other medications as well you definitely want to make sure that you're you're talking with somebody who's knowledgeable, not just following a recipe from somebody online. But methylene blue does have a lot of great potential to it. It can be given now as a trochee, which is like a sucking candy. It can be given as a powder. There are IVs out there now as well, and they all do help provide those types of improvement. The way methylene blue works, it does works in a couple different ways. One way that we know that it works, it works on what's called the electron transport chain. It helps the body move electrons, which are your power pellets, helps them move them along, and it helps work on an area called cytochrome oxidase. And this is an area which will help the body, again, produce more energy, will help, since there's a lot of mitochondria in the brain, will help with brain function. People are now using this as a, a nootropic, which is a substance used to help with brain power, help you feel smarter, focused, have more brain energy where your brain kind of will not poop out by the end of the day. It does have some utility for that process. It's something you can definitely do. It's not something we recommend doing every day. There's a bunch of different products out there now. We do recommend that you start on a lower dosage. A lot of them are coming in like four or six milligrams and then you work your way up, to see how your body tolerates it. There are some patients who, when they start taking it, will have like a little bit of a hangover afterwards. There's other people who feel like a super person and they just wanna take more and you can definitely up your dose by four milligrams a day orally. You wanna take it during the day, not usually at night, because again, if something's gonna give you energy and make your brain work, you don't want, it's not something you wanna be taking before you go to bed. There's a bunch of different companies out there that make it. The big company that makes it now is a company called Transcriptions. They make the pills and the sucking candy. Definitely be aware if you do suck on the on the trochee, your mouth will turn blue. So if you have a port meaning or a date, you wanna be aware of it because it's, it's, it'll take a while for, it'll take a couple hours for the blue tinge to go away. You can uh, swallow the sucking candy from transcriptions. You may not get the same benefit, but pretty close. Or you can do the IV of methylene blue. An IV of methylene blue, we call it the Smurf IV. Because of the way it looks like, it looks blue or purple. You will, unfortunately or unfortunately, urinating blue for two days because of the body, if it gets rid of it. But you will notice some very noticeable improvements. One, as we talked about, it has an atropic effect. It's an anti-inflammatory, so not only with the brains are gonna work on giving the brain more energy, it's acting to help with your focus and concentration. It's an anti-inflammatory, so there is sometimes brain fog and other issues are caused by that, and it may help that as well. It's also an antioxidant. Oxidative stress affects every part of your body, so by taking that, you may notice everything from more energy to decrease inflammation. We now know that it's an antiviral and potentially antibacterial, so it works really well for things like Lyme disease or some people are now using it for mono or EBV. Those are things that you can do either oral dosing or again, get higher dosing done through the IV. Those are things that you definitely can start with. And again, there are things that could be added if you're treating it for some type of illness. The, the way you wanna treat usually for illness is usually gonna involve using multiple types of treatments, not just the methylene blue, but it, it's definitely a core Part, component of helping things. Lyme disease, Epstein-Barr, other viruses may help with bacteria, including lung issues. There are some smaller studies that back that up. So it's, it definitely has its place in that category as well. Other ways that we're now using it is there are some small studies that show that it may help with Alzheimer's. Methylene blue does cross the blood-brain barrier. There is a little layer of cells that block, that block the brain from the outside world and, and the body and what happens is methylene blue can cross that blood-brain barrier and enable to potentially help eliminate some of the tau proteins that lead to the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And again, because we now know that there's a problem with the mitochondria links to Alzheimer's, methylene blue fits perfectly in there as well. And again, oxidative stress we know is related to Alzheimer's, you know, inflammation is related to Alzheimer's. 
we know some viral infections may lead to Alzheimer's. So methane blue, because of all those different aspects, has a lot of potency in issues like Alzheimer's or potentially Parkinson's. Those are things that are being studied now, and we will have further elucidation as years go on. Methylene blue is great because it has very minimal side effects as long as you're not an antidepressant, and it works pretty well. One of the reasons we don't use it with certain antidepressants, it does work on the MAO system, which is one of the ways that the MAO inhibitors, we don't use much anymore, they're older psychiatric medications, and that may help with mood by itself. I don't want to have it interact or have any problems with other psychiatric medications. Methylene blue, because it works on the mitochondria, will work well with other things that work on the mitochondria to really work in a much more synergistic way. What you can do, you can combine methylene blue with red light therapy, which works in the same area. You can combine methylene blue with NAD, which has known benefits for the, the brain and the mitochondria. We now know the studies that just came out that we know NEC, N-acetylcysteine, and glycine help mitochondria and may help with Alzheimer's in specific amounts. So doing NEC and glycine, either orally or via IV after the methylene blue, may be a good idea. Again, these are things that we're working on to get a better idea of how we can use methylene blue in the best possible way. Methylene blue is not something you may need to do every day. Methylene blue is something that you may need to do several times a week. And again, you want to start at a low dose, figure out how it affects you, figure out if you do have that hangover effect, figure out what dose works best for you. There are studies that show you can go up to one milligram per kilogram per day. That is really more for treating emergent illnesses, not the dose I recommend in terms of doing orally IV. I know there's some doctors and IV clinics that really push the level. I am not as big a fan of that. I have found patients get really good success doing eight, 12 milligrams of orally, a little bit more doing it IV wise and they, the benefits are long lasting. Methylene blue is not something where you have to go really high to get really great benefits. You may feel pretty good the first time you do it. So again, I would definitely recommend methylene blue is something that you definitely wanna at least initially talk to your doctor about, make sure that's something that they feel it's okay for you to be using. This is something you're gonna be hearing more and more about as more studies come out. And if you wanna hear more about new compounds that may help brain health, active zootropics, definitely stay tuned, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon.